Hello everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm showing you how to find the file locations of both Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Bug Edition on the Windows. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials in the future. And so I think without any further ado we'll just head over to the file explorer and I'll show you how to get to the Minecraft files of both Minecraft Java Edition, Minecraft Bug Edition and also Minecraft Preview. Alright so we'll start off with Minecraft Java Edition and then do Better Edition afterwards. You can skip straight ahead to the better condition part by looking at the chapters of this video. So you can get to the version that you need right now. But let's start with Minecraft Java Edition. So to get to the files from Minecraft Java Edition on any computer, just open up your file explorer. And then next you want to go up here to this bar where it says this PC in this case. And just click to the right of it where there is no text. This means you select it and you can fill in the right path. So all we have to do here is type in the following percent app data percent like this. And then all you need to do is just press enter. Then this will bring you to the files for the different programs you have on your PC. And so as for Minecraft Java Edition, this is really easy. The file is always called .minecraft and it makes it so it's always at the top of this list if you sort it alphabetically with the name here. And of course, since you play a lot of Minecraft, you can also just search by the date modified and it will always be at the top as well here. So you can just get to .minecraft and there we go. Here you can find all of your skins in the assets folder. There is the different mods you need to put in here. There are your resource packs, your screenshots are down here. All of your world saves are in saves. Shaders can be put in here. And it's pretty much just all the information you need. There's also all the versions you have. And here you can also put in new versions if there's different versions you want to play as well. And then what we can do next is again click up here. And then you can just copy this file path if you want to get to it again. You can just copy it to save it somewhere where you can find it back easily. And then you can paste it back in here to get immediately to this .minecraft file. Or you can also do what I do. So you can go back here to .minecraft. Right click .minecraft and click pin to quick access. And this just means it adds it to this quick access list and so you can easily get to your different files. For example, I already have screenshots here pinned. If I click on it, I immediately go to my screenshots folder. But if I click on .minecraft, I immediately go to my .minecraft folder. And if you want to unpin it, all you have to do is right click it again and unpin from quick access. Alright, so now let's move over to Minecraft Better Condition, how to get your game files over there. So this is slightly more involved than for Minecraft Java Edition, but it's still a similar process. So what you want to do, again, is go up here to this bar and just click on the part where there is no text, right here for example. All you need to do here is type in percent local app data percent, like this, and press enter. Now you get to a screen where there is lots of different information on different programs you have on your PC. And all you need to do is find the folder that is called Packages. So we'll go over to Packages. And now there's lots of stuff in here. So you need to search for Microsoft.MinecraftUWP. It's this one down here. And this will contain all of the game files for your regular Minecraft Bug Edition for Windows 10. And so you can click on it and we'll see this screen right here. Here we want to go over to local state. Then in here we want to go to games. And then right here we want to go to com.mojang. And here we see all the folders that we need. We have behavior packs, resource packs down here, and also Minecraft worlds, skin packs, all of these types of things. And so as for Minecraft Bug Edition, it is a little bit more unclear which Minecraft world is which, since they all have stupid names. This doesn't say much to the average player. So what you can do is head into one of these folders and go over to levelname.txt. You can click on it and you see in the preview here the name of that world. So that's how to see the name of these different types of worlds. This one's called My World. This one, for example, is called Phil. This one is Recovery Compass. And so these are just all my Minecraft Bug Edition worlds. And that's how to see their names. Again, I would suggest pinning this folder to your quick access, which again, you can do by going over here to this folder, right clicking it and clicking pin to quick access up here. So it'll show up over here and we can click it to just immediately get to this folder from anywhere in our file explorer. And if you also play Minecraft Preview, then all you have to do is go back to the packages link though over here and go to the one below, Microsoft Minecraft UWP. It's called Microsoft Minecraft Windows Beta for some reason, but we can go over here again, go to local state, games, 
com.mojang and here you'll see all of our different files for Minecraft Preview. For example, all of my Minecraft Preview worlds, which are different from the regular worlds. This one's a lay duplication, this one's copper horn. And so here are all the worlds that I made for Minecraft Preview. And so there we go, that is how to get to the file locations of both Minecraft Java Edition and Minecraft Barrack Edition on Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 member, the Smigglar. Thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. But there we go, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all in the next one. So until then, bye bye! Thank you.